Reddit by Reddit recap. Introverts of Reddit. What annoys you the most that doesn't bother other people? And people pity you because you're by yourself. I sit in my car at lunch and a few days into a new job a colleague came up to me and said you know, you can join us inside for lunch. We don't bite. Yep, I didn't fall in my car by accident. I actually like having time to myself. It doesn't feel like a break for me if I'm still surrounded by everyone the whole time. I get how it might look. I do understand their point of view. But I don't get why people think I'm so weird for wanting solitude. Peace and quiet. Being somewhere with a TV on and no one is watching it. It's cranked up so you can hear it three rooms away. And everyone in the room now has to talk over it. I normally talk near the exact volume for the person I'm talking to can hear me and I hate having to talk over things and repeat myself. I don't like it when people's drinks are too close to the edge of the table. But I can't say anything because it's not my drink and it seems silly for me to get so worked up about it. I once moved somebody's drink and they thought it was weird. I didn't want it to fall. Large gatherings. I don't consider myself socially inept but, paradoxically, the more people in a room together, the more difficult it is for me to find someone to talk to and that creates a feeling of isolation. So I just whip out my phone after a while until it's polite for me to leave. Honestly the constant pressure that introverts need to open up, it's ridiculous. There's not an equivalent movement to get more talkative people to step back and quieting down. I worked in a couple of support roles while I was a student, and the message was always to try and bring introverts out of their shell and get them more involved. And it's always frustrating because there's this implication that being quiet or reserved is a bad thing that needs to change. Sometimes people are comfortable being quiet, and I don't why so many other people think that needs to change. I'm not sure if this is really an introvert thing or if it's just not liking rude a-holes. But I loathe being interrupted when I'm talking. Part of the reason why I don't chime in much when there's a small group talking is because most people are just waiting for their opportunity to talk next. And some will actually cut you off to throw in their story. Another thing that annoys me is one-upmanship in conversation. Or to make a joke. Socializing every single day. Spending every moment of my life around people. If I don't get time alone, I feel trapped and my brain explodes. People talking to me when I'm eating. I like being on my own at lunch break. To get away from the noise. Enjoy my meal and browse reddit. I hate when that serenity is interrupted by people wanting to talk about work or politics. It's exactly why I go to my car to eat. I like to be by myself. And I don't like being bothered. Some people, it seems, cannot exist unless they're in the company of others. So they won't leave you alone. Without attention they die. I don't like people who are too friendly too fast, either. Rather than being charmed by this, I am repelled, and suspect they are fake. Just being around people too much. I need my space. I have lived in the city for three decades and avoid going out in my yard if the neighbors are out just so I won't have to talk to them and it's not like they are chatty or anything. I should have moved to the country. An extrovert friend's colleagues constantly make split second plans without warning, and then complain that you never come out. I'm sorry lads, but I'd like some notice in advance before you organize a drinks night. I have a job, study for uni, and don't have a car. I can't drop everything at once all the time. People assume you're crazy for enjoying being alone. I'm in college and I work my tail off to be able to afford my own apartment without roommates. Because solitude is something that's very important to me. I work for my university's student TV station and we function just like the real deal. Which means our newsroom can get very hectic particularly when we have breaking news. I love my job and the people I work with and even the intensity of the work when it's crunch time. But it blows everyone's mind that when it's all done I like to just go home and sit in silence and process a date unwind invited guests or honestly just guests in general i much prefer going somewhere to meet people so i can leave when i'm done being social but if they are in my home i can't really control when i'm done except by asking the guest to leave which many people would see as rude going out stresses me out i'd love to dress up get some drinks with you chat etc but when i get home i feel exhausted 
I'm not a social butterfly. I don't like crowds and loudness. I don't drink. I try to spend time with you and reach out to show you how much I care. But please understand that I prefer to avoid the traditional way of socializing. People think I'm depressed for working alone or sitting somewhere in silence. And a lot of people think I'm mute at first which bothers me. Being forced to take part in social interaction and getting yelled at after because I didn't do good at it. Any conversation like this. Do you wanna do X or Y? Dot. Let's do X. I don't know what it is but it feels so annoying when my mom does it. People don't get that introverts and antisocial people are completely different. Introverts, for the most part, have no problem talking to people. We just aren't the ones who start the conversation. I have resting beach face and if I have a slight serious look on my face all my co-workers constantly ask what's wrong with me. Sometimes I'm just tired or focused or just in my head space though you know. I'm glad that people care about me enough to ask. But the questioning and prodding can get on my nerves. And I don't want to snap at someone who doesn't deserve it. Anytime someone touches me. Like it can be just sitting on a bench next to me or touching my arm to get my attention. I'm hyper aware of it and it makes me uncomfortable. It doesn't even matter if I like the person or not. It's been a thing since I was a kid. Some extroverts are so outwardly focused that they can't seem to conceive of internal dialogue. When this contributes to someone who already is fairly thoughtless, rudderless, and lacking scruples or standards, they seem dumbfounded at why anyone would be upset at someone's being an a-hole or bully or tactless. Interminable goodbyes make my skin crawl. I'm not a socially anxious person. Small talk doesn't bother me at all. I can be perfectly charming and engaged in conversation for about 2 hours. But when time's up and I'm headed for the door, I start to feel like a freediver swimming back to the surface. Do not stop me on my way out. I don't care about our plans for Tuesday. The bike rack's holding up fine. I don't want to take any leftovers. Getting stuck in an interminable goodbye when I can see the solitude of my car waiting a few steps away. Just thinking about it makes me restless. When people seem to be genuinely having fun at a party with lots of people. How is that fun for you? There's so much music. So many loud conversations flying through the air. So much yelling over each other and loud laughter. I for the life of me will never understand how someone can have fun at a party gathering. Figuring out WTF to say, my partner can just social butterfly it up, and I'm over here like Zuum. Do you like weather? Tips for how to be more outgoing, be more social, meet new people, have more friends, etc. Extroverts always seem to think introversion is a problem. Beach, people are my problem. When you're in desperate need of alone time and people are refusing to give it to you and then questioning why you're getting so short or irritable. Like please just accept the fact that I need to be alone. And respect it. Don't force me to stay around people when I've told you more than once I need to be alone. When I ask my one of my friends if they want to do something and their first instinct is to invite other people. I asked you. Specifically you. I don't want to find hockey tickets for 8 people or figure out if we're carpooling or getting food or any of that bullshit that's so easy when it's only 2. Most of my friends are also very indecisive socially by nature so it makes things even more complicated. If you do manage to get your introverted friend out of the house for duck's sake make it as simple as possible unless you really want them to go back into their hole. Work parties celebrations that are supposed to be fun and a chance to get to know people from other teams. I'm lucky that I actually like my immediate co-workers. But sorry, fun and make awkward small talk with people I never actually need to interact with are opposites. Not the same thing. Can I just, like, go actually do my job? It's slightly better when they're providing beer slash wine. But still. I'd really rather just go home early rather than bonding with random people who also happen to get paid by the same organization. I hate getting my hair cut because I'm afraid of the chit chat with whoever cuts my hair. I want to sit and zone out I mean they can't possibly want to talk to me either, but then I feel rude if I act cold and don't stimulate conversation. It's exhausting. Okay story time. So I consider myself a pretty introverted person. I can be very talkative around people I know and trust. 
but when I meet someone for the first time, I'm more on the quiet side. So one day at work, I had a meeting in 5 minutes, so I went to the bathroom to pee. After doing my business, I noticed a sign that said the faucet is broken. I didn't read this until after I my aim practice to ensure I was on target. I thought, I have hand sanitizer at my desk. I'll just rush to my desk and use that before I go into the meeting. I step outside the bathroom and am met with my manager standing beside three sales reps. They reach out their hand immediately. I pause for what seems like forever, but it was probably just a couple of seconds. I reach out and shake each of their hands. A big dumb smile on my face as I make zero eye contact and look at our hands as they meet. As we walk into the meeting room, I see one of them rub their face and I'm horrified. But I stay quiet. I know I should have told them something like, I don't shake hands or whatever, but it all happened so fast. So now, I'm self conscious about shaking people's hands. Let's be honest, karma is going to get me back someday. I'm just hoping the outcome is not shitty. People who talk a little too loud. I try to be private about my conversations, no matter how mild they are. Being asked what's new with you? If something noteworthy happened, I'll tell you. Otherwise you can assume I'm doing exactly the same as I always am. Most physical contact that I want with a person that isn't a boyfriend is a handshake. No hugs. No kisses. None of that shit. Give me space. Small talks. I don't care about the weather. I don't care about how you are. You don't care either. Absolutely everything if I've gone too long without any alone time to recharge. I'm a social introvert, I guess. Meaning I love doing things with friends and all kinds of social interaction. But at the end of the day, I need to be alone for a while to relax. If I go for a long period without being able to have alone time, I start getting really exhausted and my fuse gets shorter and shorter. I don't have the energy anymore to put up with anything. And I want to just retreat into my shell. Best comment of the day. There's a lot that bugs me, such as, 1. The store clerk asking if I have any big plans for the weekend, when I have more than one beer among my groceries, like no, I don't, and no, I don't need to have a party planned in order to buy beer. 2. The goodbye tennis rally. Person 1. Goodbye. Person 2. Yep. Bye. Person 1. Take care now, buddy. Person 2, I will if you will. Person 1, ace, see ya. Person 2, catch ya later, mate. Ad infinitum. 3, I do more work when in my house, because I'm totally in control of the environment, and can ensure that there will be no unexpected interruptions. I can't be sure that some random acquaintance won't walk up to me in the coffee shop and ask me what I'm up to when I have like 10 textbooks, a notepad and laptop around me. Like do you not see all my university stuff around me? Nope. Well, I guess in that case I must be raising the wreck of the Mary Rose or something, rather than the bloody obvious answer of working on my teacher training course. 4. Having to endure chit chat about the weather, like horrible bloody rainstorm, ain't it? Wish I had a brolly, or was on a tropical island. Tell ya what though, try to stay dry like, oh, thanks I couldn't tell, if it was raining, or just a whole load of meteors falling from the heavens. I seriously have so many more pet peeves about this, but they are probably best shared between me, and a trained therapist.